Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 2 speed build. So today we're actually going to be building a community lot for the Sims 2 and we're going to be building Pleasant View Bookstore and Coffee Shop. So yes, I know the name isn't very original, but you know me, I suck at naming builds, especially community lots. So I'm just glad the build is named something if I'm honest but yeah so we're building a community lot for Pleasant View now if you guys haven't heard me talk about this before I'm currently playing playing all of the Pleasant View families and I'm not doing this as a let's play or anything like that I'm kind of doing it as my Sims 2 current household I guess is the best way of describing it and I'm using Pleasant Sims's play through like gameplay rules and she designed these especially like for Pleasant View I think and yeah I've been watching Pleasant Sims for a few months now and she's absolutely amazing and she was actually the person that gave me kind of like the inspiration or the idea to start playing through Pleasant View and actually do it you know with like the in-game families normally I don't really play with the townie families but with Pleasant View I actually started playing you know with like the families that came with the game so the goths and the, the Don Lothario and Caliente sisters and you know the Pleasant family and stuff like that and I'm, I am using her like gameplay rules for that but I will leave a link to her website as well as her channel so I will leave a link to all of Cindy's stuff in the description if you guys haven't heard of her before I know a lot of you guys that watch the Sims 2 that watch Sims 2 videos have probably heard of her but if you haven't definitely go and check out her content she's amazing she does let's plays and she's actually doing a Sims 2 Pleasant View let's play and that has run for I think multiple like seasons I guess I could say and yeah that's actually how I found her channel which is awesome I'm addicted to that let's play but yeah she actually gave me like the inspiration of you know to add some more community lots to my you know to Pleasant View since I normally don't have my sims go anywhere at all and partly because there are like literally no good community lots in Pleasant View and I don't want my sims to have to go to another like world I suppose or neighborhood to get to some good community lots and I figured that Pleasant View is so I don't know not empty but it's so big and then the lots are so far apart it's kind of unrealistic so I've just decided to add some more like community lots and stuff you know between all of like the pre-made ones so that the world feels a bit more full and lively and just a little bit more realistic you know as realistic as you can get in the sims I suppose but yeah I built this weeks and months ago actually I built this way back in January I think yeah when I had my like channel my like break from YouTube I guess yeah that was in January I think so yeah I built this then and I actually forgot that I had it I mean I've seen it in my game I've had my sims visit it and everything but whenever I come to edit a video for the channel for the sims 2 or stuff like that I always forget about this one I have no idea I just randomly found it the other day when I was going through my like recording folder to delete some of my old recordings that I don't need anymore and stuff like that I randomly came across this and yeah I totally forgot that I had this build ready to go and yeah that's why we didn't have like a Sims 2 video last week normally I do try I try and upload at least one Sims 2 build a week and then two Sims 4 related videos a week but yeah last week we just had Sims 4 stuff since I didn't have the time to well my voice just went weird there I didn't have the time to do any Sims 2 builds to like finish anything and yeah I was just busy with a, with a lot of other things you know not exactly YouTube and video related last week so I didn't have time to finish like a brand new build and I forgot about this one so yeah I'm really glad I found it for this week since I did want to share it 
and I really like the way this turned out. I actually love the way this, this turned out, if I'm honest. I didn't even use all that much custom content. The only custom content I used were some of Honeywell's bespoke set. So, like, the windows and doors that I used are from Honeywell, and then, like, the wallpapers are from her as well. But I will leave a link to a master list of all of the Sims 2 you know cc creators that i use so if you haven't seen this list in any of my sims 2 videos before i do include a list in the description of all of the build and buy custom content creators that i use in my game all of them are in there and luckily with the sims 2 if you package the lot you can package the custom content with it you know all of that stuff i'm not going to go into detail because i'm probably going to do a really bad job of explaining it but yeah, so just something I really quickly want to mention, I have now started a Patreon page and I've explained this a lot more and in more detail in the announcement video that I did on Monday as well as in Monday's speed build. So I will link both of those videos on the screen and in the description for you guys. But basically, Patreon is just a way that you guys can support me and the channel by making a monthly pledge. And I have four different tiers of different amounts that you guys can pledge to and everything. But again, all of the links will be in the description if you guys want to hear more about it. But yeah, the video is almost done. So I'm going to leave it off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you're all having an amazing, amazing day. And yeah, I will talk to you on my next video. Bye guys.